the migrant people search for pleasures as they search for food and work, a necessity for survival during the hard times. They tell stories to one another, some made it up, some from the movie pictures. Those with a little money get drunk to deaden the pain of their situation. Others play music, harmonica, guitar, and fiddle. Bands are formed and dances held. Young people dance to release their energy, and old members of the community clap and tap their toes. At the end of the evening, the young dancers pair off and go into the darkness. Yeah, this guy looks pretty drunk and poor. Pretty sad too. poor man is mesmerized by the music and chooses to join in to see if it'll make him a little bit happier. These migrant communities have great fun, even without money in some cases. Music, stories, and religious activities all play essential roles in society for the migrants. <laughs> I'm drunk! I'm drunk! The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of the darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And thou strike down upon these with great vengeance and furious anger, those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. I like beer. As seen, the common people enjoy their alcohol in a robust and peaceful manner, while the preachers speak with the masses and get them engaged in teachings and lessons to better the community's mood. Steinbeck chooses to use some quirky similes in chapter 23, like when the preacher speaks to the crowd. He says, and I quote, The preacher paced like a tiger, whipping the people with his voice. This makes one imagine the preacher's stark tone, and Steinbeck creates a vision in the heads of the readers of a thoroughly impassioned man giving his speech to the disheartened masses of the Hoovervilles. Steinbeck also uses personification, specifically when he mentions music. He says, You can mold the music with curved hands, making it wail and cry like bagpipes, making it phone around like an organ, making it as sharp and as bitter as the red pipes in the hills. Steinbeck begins the chapter with a slew of different literary devices. The words and and well begin most sentences, showing Steinbeck's skill of repetition. He also dabbles in foreshadowing, as the big dance chapter is very, very soon to come. Everyone here loves soapstones, so here's a quick little fun soapstone for everyone in the audience. Thank <laughs> you.